More than 130 people reported dead after a pedestrian bridge collapsed. Happened last night in western India. We have security camera footage of the bridge as it gave way. But first, a warning. This video is difficult to watch. You'll see here people holding on as the bridge starts to sway. And then the whole thing plunges to the water below. After the collapse, dozens of people grabbed hold of that mangled bridge, fighting to stay above the water. One witness told a local news outlet he saw several children fall in. He said he tried to pull them to safety, but they got swept away. Officials say they've already rescued nearly 180 survivors from the river. Teams from the Army, Navy, and Air Force brought in to search for the remains of those who did not survive. So far, most of the victims are teenagers, women, and older people, according to government officials. Today, police arrested nine people who operate or work at that bridge. Officials say the operators are facing homicide charges. Now, the government calling for an investigation. Here's CNBC's Shamari Stone. Indian police arrested ticketing clerks, contractors, and two executives from Oriva. The company awarded a 15-year contract to maintain and manage the bridge. Three security guards were also arrested, accused of failing to regulate crowds. Authorities say the cable suspension bridge gave way under the weight of hundreds of people. The bridge was built in 1877. It was closed for six months for renovations and reopened last week. A report from the Press Trust of India says Oriva makes electrical items and clocks, and they didn't get a certificate for it to reopen. We reached out to the company and we're waiting to hear back. So far, no official comment from Oriva. The leader of the opposition Congress party is demanding an investigation into who allowed so many people onto the bridge and why it collapsed within just five to six days of being reopened. The prime minister of India tweeting, quote, I am deeply saddened by the tragedy and goes on to say, Relief and rescue operations are going on in full swing, and all necessary assistance is being provided to the affected, end quote. And the U.S. State Department saying today, Our condolences go out to the victims of this terrible tragedy and their families, and the United States stands with our Indian partners and has offered support to the government of India. For the news, I'm Shamari Stone.